it didn't touch yesterday's high, uh, last Friday's high, and uh, going down. If this close to bear bars, this is always in short. Can go short here. See if this bar can close uh, below the moving average and close as a bull bar, a bear bar. Um, better close at low. Two strong bear bars. It's always in short now. This is a, a channel. 75% of the um, up channel will break down side till this level. At least we will touch the moving average, one hour moving average. If this, okay, if this bar cannot break, okay, it's break. Another bear bar uh, closing nearly slow uh, and break out this trend line. See if it can have another follow up, follow through bar, or if you reverse back into the channel. Who can um, want to do the same thing uh, with na uh, last Friday? Bear to bear that down then reverse up. Who wants to do the same? Wants to push up, then go back to the channel. But it's going down again. Who wants to push up back to the moving energy? Average and back to the channel, middle of the channel nine. But still, this is a very weak bull bar, not enough strength. See if this second bar can close as a strong bull bar. However, these uh, bear, the three bear bars are very strong. Even it closes, this is go back to trading range most likely. If this close as a bear bar and going down, break out the, uh, the channel, maybe if close a bear bar, break out the bar here, it may be a um, measured move to here. This one is like a bull trap, the 60 minutes. This one, if close another 30 minutes, if this one closes a bear bar, it's a double top. If this one closes but a bear bar and close at low of the bar, it's a double top. It's possibly going down. Another bear bar, but long week. It may evolve into trading range soon. Last Friday, this is a trend line here. Didn't reach it. Push, um, Bull wants to push the, the market back, the price back to the trend line. Um, the channel. I go back to this. The same. This channel has been the broad channel. Usually, will last for a few days. It has last for one to two days. It may last for three days or more. This channel. This is a high one, but this bar still not close 
very bullish. This is still a week here. Not very bullish. See, this, if this bar can close past the moving average and close as a breakout bull bar, then it can um, make this, make um, always in short, um, invalid. See if this bar can close past the moving average and close as a bull bar. Otherwise, right now it's still always in short. And it has go back and close as a bull bar. Uh, currently, because this always in short long um, three consecutive bear bars, so it make this always in short invalid. It's currently um, likely to move into trading every uh, trading range now. Uh, usually, these uh reverse strong reverse up will go up at least one tick above the high um it's possibly go back to the um up line of this cha channel this channel um has 75 percent um, rate of uh, breakdown, but this breakout is a fake, a fake breakout, and uh, it has to go back up. Six minutes, it may go back to a bull bar after 15 minutes. They are going up, and uh, Currently, it didn't pass one tick. It's uh, just close to. And usually, it will go at least one tick up. One tick up of this uh, high. Usually, it will go back a little bit and go down, go down, go down. May go back down and go up. It's a trading range. and But it also possibly go up. I go down, I go up, I go down to touch the train line. And maybe even uh, break out the train line. Um, if this bar close, a, a breakout bar close um, at its high, it can go a um, measured move. It possibly goes to a push up to a measured move. If close as a big bull bar, mm, it seems not enough strength and the volume is not high. Most likely we'll go for a move, go, go into a trading range. This bar close uh, as a bear bar, um, not strong enough, but uh, it means the bull has not enough strength to push up the high. And this is yesterday's high. Not able to push up um, with strength and to touch the chain line here. It may be a um, small trading range today. Uh, currently, this is always in long. However, because of these three bear bars, um, it can move into a trading range. See if this bar can close as a breakout bar. This bar um, break out the yesterday's high, uh, last Friday's high, um, a tick. But it's weak because of this long week bar. Yeah, it can. If this bar closes a, a bear bar, a strong bear bar is a double top, micro double top. Now also a higher high. 
double top. See if this bar can close a breakout bar here. Uh, still not a strong bull bar, but still no bear bars up here. Still worthy, always in long, waiting for um, a big bull bar to close at this high. If this bar um, evolves into a big bull bar, and you can uh, take a profit here. Um, but usually, when the price come back to the middle of the channel, you will go back to the upper line, the upper channel line here. See if this bar can close as a bull bar and uh, to touch the upper trend line. Bulls are losing their strain, steam. Um, it may go down a little bit and go up again. Oh, fall back, deep play into the trading range. If this bar closes at this high, um, it's a good locking bull bar. In, it increases the possibility um, if you go back to the upper trend line. However, two bear bars here. It may involve into a trading range and a wedge. Two bear bars. See if this uh, bull can close, um, break out this wedge line. Three push up. One, two, three. Uh, if this is close below this bar, that is high and low too. A triple top. It has a break out the triple top. It's break up higher. However, it's still below the wedge line. A strong bull bar. Uh, but still a possible wedge here. Too many bear bars. It's going to develop into a trading range or weak up channel soon. Um, uh, the bull wants to push up the market price to touch the upper chain line. Many bull bars here in hourly chart. Many bull bars, no bear bars. The gap low and the gap high. See if the market can uh, push up the trend line, break out the trend line, and then go up to close the gap. It's close to the daily moving average now. Also, this is a gap low. So this is a strong resistant area. If you, uh, these four, uh, three consecutive bull bars. So the bull wants to push the market price to touch the moving average, daily moving average. Moving average. It's around the 20. Uh, wrong number. Fifty-four It's close to the train line. If the bar closes as a bear bar, 
that is a wedge entry. See if this bar can close a, a bear bar. If it's a strong bear bar, it's a wedge entry. Well, this is a wedge entry from my point of view. If this uh, price come back to, to pass, it's low. It seems as a bear trap, yeah. A tomba. Long week. Okay. It has triggered the wedge. The wedge bar entry. A big surprising bear bar. <clears throat> The up move is going to be end. Surprising bear bar. If it's a uh, close at its low, the move is ended. A large bear bar close at its low. This bar is always in short bar. However, it's in a uh, trading range. So it could be a trap. Um, it's in a trading range, so it can be a, a bear trap and go back again. However, and this channel has been, the bottom has been touched one, two, three, four, five. It can be a breakout. Sixty minutes. Still in our channel. Long weeks. It's a limit water market in hourly chart. So it can be go up down, up down, up down for a few days. If it break out to touch the bottom of the channel and go back again, the market cannot break this low, so it's getting into a trading range. May go back to the middle line to the open. and stop the the price is close to the open it can hang on in here for a long time or also it also can go up a little bit to um close the gap here close the gap then go back to touch the open again. Today will be um, a dodgy day. The gap has been closed. It can go a bit higher. Uh, most likely, we'll go down and touch uh, the open again. It's always in long, but this spare bar here is a trading range. High one. I would like to look for a high two opportunity to get in. Because this is always in long, this is high one. I'm looking for high two to get in. 
one, two, three, four, five, five bars cannot close below the moving average. Possibly it yeah, will go in higher. It's a trap. Uh, it goes down and the break out this low. See if it this bar can close a bull bar and a high to entry to go higher. A high two, high one, a high two, high two bar to get in. It reverse again. As I said, it's possibly will go around the open in this small trading range here. Too many weeks. It's a limit market, limit order market. Another bull bar, if close as a bull bar, then many trap here. If this break out and it's a good entry bar, it's a breakout of this trading range, small trading range. Breakout of this um, small trading range, it can a bit uh, go a bit further. That's there's a train train line here. It's a breakout bar. It can go a bit further. At least um, a measured move from here. to here. It has break out this train line. It has break out this train line. See if this can close as a follow through bear bar. It has break out this whole channel. See these is go go a bit lower. It cannot reach the upper train line and they break up the lower line. It's a downside channel. This is a major move. Uh, the machines are taking profits here. See if this move can go a bit further. The bear bar are bigger than the bull bars. The bear are stronger. And usually the up uh, channel, tra uptrend channel uh, will break out downside. The moving average, um, hourly moving average hasn't been touched for two days. The bears are getting strength here. This is uh, the first bear bar close at low. If see if this bar still half an hour left can close as a bear bar closing at its low. This is a this is a um, consecutive trend line here. The bear bars are getting strength here. Very similar.
big bar, big bear bar, big bear bar. Then small range reverse, small range reverse, small range reverse. They didn't touch the moving average yet. This high didn't break out this spare bar. It's still in the this bar's range. This bear, this big bear bar's range. This is a shoulder. This is a head. Head in a shoulder pattern. This is a leg line. The bear wants to push through the leg line to break out the leg line. The bull wants to push up to break out this chain line. Bear trap, bear trap, bear trap. It can. It, it, this one has to break has break out this uh, this bear bar. It can go a second leg very high to touch the, the upper line. It could be ha it could happen, but it seems the the bull doesn't have enough strength to break out the chain line. It has touched the leg leg line consecutive bars. One, two, three, four. See if this bar can close below the leg line and touch the moving average. This is a head and shoulder pattern. Many traps. Down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Many traps. If this breaks out, it will be a big move. Hourly chart. This is a trading range. However, the bear bars, the bears are getting strength here. The bear bar a large. Wool bars are small. However, there is no bear or bull to dominate the, this kind of market.